Hello everyone, this is Mutu, a year first year student taking the course Bachelor of Arts and Education English major. So today I'll be talking about the transition period from secondary school life to university life. So stepping into university life is completely different from secondary school life, where there's no one to monitor you, no one to ask you about your homework, and no one to even take attendance in some classes. Besides, there are some eye-opening experiences that this course provides. For example, last week I went to the Ebenezer School for Visually Impaired, and the perception of students with disabilities are completely introverts or they can't open up broke at that moment. They were very friendly, very attentive and very energetic early in the morning and it's surprising to see them not at all afraid to meet complete strangers like us. So if you see on the picture on the left, like it's me and my friend uh, conducting a dramatic reading with the students and if you see the picture on the right, it's me and my classmates having some mooncakes right after class during the autumn festival. So making friends isn't hard in university either. And as the motto goes, work hard and play hard. So welcome to uni life. Hi, I'm Nicholas from Year 3 and I'm going to talk about immersion. Immersion is a two-month journey going to an overseas country that every student in English education in Barcelona after finishing Year 2. This year, we had the chance to go to the University of Queensland in Brisbane. During the immersion, we fully experienced the Australian culture. We stayed in host families, went to the university together, hung out after classes, explored so many different attractions, and even watched cheap movies. It was truly the perfect occasion to build friendship and an exceptional opportunity to learn as a future teacher. In class at university, I met some of the most amazing teachers I've ever encountered. There were some inputs by the teacher trainer, followed by preparations and discussion time for peer teaching. The learning environment was very relaxing, which encouraged everyone to take risks and experiment with different teaching methods. My classmates had been for one moment primary one students and other moments very critical learners who evaluated on my teaching performance and provided constructive feedback. Combined with in-class presentations and visits to Australian schools, I was able to unleash my potentials and also to know more about the education system on the other side of the world. After class, there was plenty of time that you could basically do whatever you wanted to do. We sometimes rode scooters in the city, went grocery shopping, and discovered remarkable tastes of chocolate and Western food. The best part of immersion must have been the long weekend when some of my classmates flew to Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, and even Uluru where they slept in the desert with a full sky of stars as blanket at night. Personally, my friends and I went to one of Brisbane's outlying islands. We also spent a, a weekend at Gold Coast, joined the parade, and did go-kart racing. Living with host families can be challenging, but Australians, they were all very helpful, nice and friendly. You could certainly play with their children and pets, and you were always welcome to join their family gatherings. We lived so close together that making a peer support very easy. Actually, some of us actually lived close to the university, that they even walked to school every morning and breathed the fresh air that we don't have in Hong Kong. Overall, the immersion program was simply unforgettable. It was the moment to experience, to make new friends, to grow, and to become wiser. I wish I could stay in Brisbane forever. Thank you. Hello, I'm Carrie from Year 3. I'll be sharing about overseas exchange opportunities and experiential learning courses. I believe we've all heard of the saying, going on exchange is a must to fulfill uni life. As an English education student, I am so lucky to have the opportunity to go to Australia for an immersion. However, two months is definitely not enough for you travelholics out there. HKU offers a variety of exchange programs, from short visits to Asian countries like Japan and Korea, to long-term staying in places like the US and Germany. You get to experience the life in a foreign country from a deeper perspective and also learn about the education systems in other universities. It is certainly a golden opportunity for you to explore the world. Experiential learning course is another element that is worth mentioning. If you're looking for something specific to experience 
If you're looking for something specific to education, experiential learning is just the right thing for you. We offer both local and overseas courses for students to teach real audience in different contexts, including local secondary schools, Ocean Park, and places out of Hong Kong like Cambodia. Because the Faculty of Education believes that learning through practice is very important. Last year, I took part in the Ocean Park Experiential Learning course. Our group and I designed games to teach visitors about red pandas. It was such a fruitful experience for me, and I definitely recommend you take that course. I believe that the best piece of advice I can give you is to plan out how you want to spend your five years here. Five years is not too long, not too short, but it's definitely worth it for you to make full use of it. Please do give exchange courses and experiential learning courses some thought. Thank you. Hi, I'm Grace, uh, currently a year five student in this program. After having a teaching practicum in year four uh, in a primary school, I can see the different chemical reactions you will have with different individuals. Um, actually, when you care about the students, they can really feel it. Just like the saying that um, people may forget what you say, but they won't forget how you make them feel. So I think it's always important to make students feel good about learning so that they can really enjoy it. Um, sometimes I do get frustrated when I cannot see the teaching events instantly, but luckily I've encountered some very good uh, mentors and colleagues. They remind me that education is a long-term ongoing process. Um, it takes time to see the events and changes, but the seeds that you sow inside the students are there. So you, as well as the students, shall reap someday. Um, so my goal now is just to cultivate students' intrinsic motivation to learn according to their own interests, abilities, and talents. Um, and I believe that the best education is to encourage students to unleash and explore their full potentials in where they were born to be, uh, with some good attitudes and values instilled. My greatest reflection along all these years is that um, education is a two-way process. It's not just you teaching the students, but you also learn from the students. So I think um, we should always stay humble and be reflective, bring in some inspirations into the classroom and also get inspired. Um, I'm looking forward to the teaching project come in a secondary school during semester two because I can then have a full taste of teaching students of different age groups and I will highly recommend uh, this program to the ones who are interested and passionate about nurturing our future pillars, not just academically but also non-academically in terms of their whole person development. I'm Martin Sham, year five student of this program. I chose this double degree program because I've always wanted to become an English teacher in Hong Kong. And I think this program gives me what I want. For example, it provides us with a lot of teaching related opportunities like uh, lesson observations, school visits, micro teaching, and most importantly, teaching practicums. Uh, last year when I was in year four, uh, I had a teaching practicum in a primary school for eight weeks. And it was an excellent chance for us to apply what we learned, like theories and pedagogy. And it let us experience what most of us had longed for, that is teaching. At first, uh, I was a bit overwhelmed by this new environment because I found it quite difficult and challenging to manage primary school students. Uh, but then I had a very supportive and helpful mentor. He let us observe his lessons. Uh, we did lesson planning together. And then he observed my teaching. And then he gave me feedback, which were very useful to me as a pre-service teacher. Also, our faculty, the staff, our classmates were all very eager to help. And they cared about our learning progress. So it just felt like a really supportive environment for us to apply what we learned and to experience what it is like to be a teacher. Uh, this is my last year doing this program now, and looking back, I really think this program has equipped us with the necessary skills and knowledge to be an education professional. Uh, we have had courses on pedagogy, uh, teaching, uh, psychology and philosophy, and we've spent a lot of time on English and linguistics as well. 
So uh, now I feel like I'm a lot more confident in teaching English than I ever was because I know more about this language and I've acquired uh, relevant teaching skills. So um, we're going to have another teaching practicum uh, in a secondary school this time for eight weeks as well. And I really look forward to that. And I'm very excited about graduation too. Uh, I would definitely recommend this program to anyone who's passionate about English and education. Thank you.